So hello, uh, just like I promised. So let's try to solve level 10 limitless slot problem. Uh, ito yung Baguio teachers camp. So reading the problem. So statement of the problem, the Department of Education has decided to erect an extension facility on an available open area inside the Baguio teachers camp. The project is a two-story building extension that will mainly serve as a storage facility for the main administration office. The available open area is a sleeping is a sloping down at 10% to the east with a good view found at the northeast portion of the property. Aside from storage, the other areas required to complement the main activity could include offices, business centers, and support services like toilets and locker areas, hallways, stairs, and lobbies. A viewing deck shall also be provided to take advantage of the good view from this point. Project Site Features An available site for extension is in a portion of the depot property starting at the elevation point at the southwest access entry established at 469 meters above sea level. A driveway shall be 6 meters wide and slopes down northward at 12%, whereby the grade level shall be established 60 meters from the said access gate entry. Upon reaching the grade level, the driveway turns right towards an open ground that will serve as a multi-purpose area. This also to accommodate parking and maneuvering of vehicles. The width of the open area is 20 meters and connects to the rest of the depot property towards the east and northeast. That slopes downward and is technically a limitless site of pine trees and breathtaking forest scenery. Given the sloping nature of this available portion of the site, cut and fill methods shall be done to establish the grade level for both building footprint and parking area. The building lies adjacent to the driveway. After a 3 meter landscape buffer and retaining wall, its footprint corner starts at 36 meters from the gate and extends to the other corner where the driveway leads to the open area. A 4 meter hallway patio lies adjacent to the open area. From this corner to the lobby, that covers an area of 6 by 10 meters, including the staircase. This patio actually serves as a staging area for receiving and dispatching, for loading and unloading to and from the storage areas. The first storage area is 40 meters wide and 20 meters deep. The second storage area is 20 meters by 400 square meters. Both storage areas have a clear height of 8 meters for racking crates and sliding gates or doors that are used for convenient handling. A two-story structure lies next to the first two storage facilities. Its ground floor consists of the third storage, the business center with dimensions of 12 by 14, and an additional 2 by 14 meters pantry that is connected to the business center. The second floor is 32 meters wide and 14 meters deep. At the back of this two-story structure is a view deck at grade level. Okay, so let's try to analyze. Sabi, uh, ano daw siya? Two-story building extension. Take note, minsan, sinasabi na nila kung anong type siya. Ang type niya is SPE. Naka-indicate na siya. Minsan kasi tinatanong siya sa mga questions. What is the zoning classification of this project? So, ito, may one point ka na. Given na siya. Tapos, two-story building extension. Sloping down. Ayan. The available open area is sloping down at 10% to the east. So first, let's try to draw our compass. Mag-draw muna tayo dito ng compass. North, east, west, and south. Ang sabi, 
sloping down a 10% to the east. So, kung ito yung east, sloping down, so, yung slope niya, 10%. Sloping down. ba? With a good view found at the northeast portion. So, northeast daw, um, here, at yung good view, let's say, good view, so dito, looking here, you can see the good view. Okay, so meron na tayong mga concepts, pero wala pa rin tayong uh, yung sukat ng lote, dahil sabi nga, limitless lot. Okay, next. Ito daw yung mga nire-require, mga offices, business centers, support services, toilets, and yung viewing deck shall also be provided to take advantage of the good view from this point. Nasaan ba yung good view na kanina? Nandito sa northeast. So, yung location ng view deck natin, let's say, around here somewhere. Nandito. So, nasa top right, top right corner at grade level. Sabi kanina, nasa grade level daw siya eh. Ayun. At the back of this two-story structure is a view deck at grade level. So, alam natin na yung view deck natin ay nasa grade level. Okay. Let's start plotting the the problem. Okay. So, ayun. The available site from this portion of the depot property starting at the elevation point at the southwest access entry. Southwest. Saan yun? Dito. So, from here, nandito yung entry mo. So, kung nandyan yung entry mo, let's try to plot agad-agad yung southwest. So, if this is your southwest portion, ito na yung starting point ng lote mo. So, hindi mo pa alam gaano kalayo yan eh. Hindi mo rin alam kung gaano to kalayo. But, alam mo, na dito sa southwest, nandito daw yung gate mo. Okay. Then, ang sabi, ito, kwento-kwento. 469, kwento lang yan. A driveway shall be 6 meters wide and slopes down northward. 6 meters wide daw yung driveway. So, ito yung driveway mo, slopes down northward. So, pag anon yung driveway mo, so, yung width ng driveway mo is 6 meters. So, ito yun. Tama? 6 meters northward. So, paakyat. Nang gano'ng kalayo ang sabi, whereby the grade level shall be established 60 meters from the said access gate entry. If this is your gate, your southwest access, Yung grade level, since nag slope siya pa baba, ilan daw? Gano'n ka ano? 12% yung slope. If 12% yung slope, 12%. Sulat natin. Yan. So, gano'n daw kalayo to? Ang sabi, 60 meters daw to. If this is 60 meters, 60 meters daw yung layo nitong rampa. Pababa, bago mag-turn sa ano sabi? Upon reaching the grade level, the driveway turns right towards an open ground that will serve as a multi-purpose area. This is also to accommodate parking and maneuvering of vehicles. The width of the open area is 20 meters. So, sinabi, may width daw yung open area na 20 meters at nagko-connect siya sa rest ng deped property so dito makikita mo may width na sinabi 
20. Bakit dito siya at hindi dito? Kung dito yan, yung lote mo, possible na maliit lang. Kailangan natin i-maximize kasi nga limitless slot. So, 20 meters siya nandito. So, bale, from the gate, which is 6 meters width, yung driveway mo, bababa ka, 60 meters, then yung width ng open area mo is 20 meters. Okay? Then, ang next na sinabi, connects to the rest of the depot properly towards the east and northeast. So, saan tayo papunta? So, east and northeast pa ganun daw. Driveway turns right. So, kapag punta mo dito, kung 20 to, magra-right ka na dito. Tama? So, kapag pasok ng sasakyan, right ka dyan. Towards the east and northeast. So, tama naman. di ba? The width of the open air is 20 meters connect to the rest of the depth property that slopes downward. Ayan. Sabi nga kanina, nag slope siya 10% downwards, di ba? Technically, limitless sight of pine trees and breathtaking forest scenery. Given the sloping nature of this available portion of the site, the cut and fill method shall be done to establish the grade level for both building footprint and parking area. Ito, ito na yung building natin. Mag-start pa lang tayo sa building. The building lies adjacent to the driveway after a 3 meter landscape buffer. Okay. So, sa katabi pala na itong driveway, meron pala tayo ditong 3 meters na landscape buffer. If this is 8, if this is 6, so kalahati daw niyan, 3 meters, meron tayo ditong landscape buffer. So, may landscape buffer tayo dito na, 3 meters. Ayan. 3 meters, yung width, nitong landscape buffer natin. Okay, then, meron din daw siyang retaining wall. So, its footprint corner starts as, starts at 36 meter from the gate. So, ibig sabihin, sabi dito, the building lies adjacent, di ba, to the driveway after 3 meter. So, nakadikit dito. Nakadikit dito siya. Nakadikit daw dito. Then, its footprint corner starts at 36 meters from the gate. Ayun. 36 meters from the gate. If this is the gate. So, hindi ka naman pa ganun. Kapag pa ganun ka ng 36 meters, hindi ka na nakadikit sa landscape buffer. So, yung 36 meter mo, upward. So, papunta dito sa taas. Tama. So, kung 36, 60 to, Lagpas ng konti, nandito. Ito yung 36. 36 meters from the gate. Correct? Then, ano pa sabi? And extends to the other corner where the driveway leads to the open area. So, yung other corner nito, mag-extend daw to the other corner. May dalawa yan. Ito o ito. Extend to the other corner. Hindi naman pwedeng ito. Kasi may landscape buffer ka. So, ito yun. Ito yung corner na yun. So, meron ka ng pader. Yung pader ng building mo, ito na yung isang side. ba diba? Then, a 4 meter hallway patio lies adjacent to the open area. From this corner, the lobby that covers an area of 6 by 10 meters including the staircase a 4 meters so yung 4 meter hallway patio mo so kung ito yung corner mo hindi ka na pwedeng pa ganun ang hallway mo based dito sa statement na to adjacent to the open area so yung span ng hallway mo Parallel, pwedeng sabihin natin parallel, to the open area. So, if this is your open area sa likod, nandito siya, ito yung building mo, ito yung, yung 
hallway patio na 4 meters. So, ito yun. So, 4 meters. Yung width niya. The width of the hallway patio. From this corner to the lobby. So, from this corner to the lobby. Pag ganun daw siya. So, yung lobby, hindi, hindi muna natin pwedeng i-plot. Hanggat hindi pa natin napa-plot yung mga mga spaces na nandito. Kasi pag nilagay na agad natin yung lobby dito, yung pala kakailanganin natin tong space na to. For the future statements. Okay, next statement. Ang sabi, This patio actually serves sa staging, staging area for loading and unloading from the storage areas. So, dito daw, may storage areas. So, take note, may storage areas na tayo na sinabi. Ayun. The first storage area is 40 meters wide and 20 meters deep. Okay, take note ha. If this is 36 and this is 4, 40. Tama? 36 plus 4 is 40. So, may natitira ka dito ang ilan? 20. Ang sabi dito, The first storage area is 40 meters wide and 20 meters deep. So, yung 20 meters deep mo, kalalim. From the front, if this is your front, yung entrada mo dito sa likod. So, yung front mo, ito. So, ito yung lalim mo, 20. 20 meters deep, so, solve ka na. So, doblehin mo yan. Ito na yun. Ito na yung 40. 40 meters. At, ito na yung 20 meters mo. So, this is your storage one. S1. Okay? So, may storage one ka na. What's next? Sabi, ayun. The first storage area is 40 by 20. Then, the second storage area is 20 by 400 square meters. Meter, square meter. Paano kaya to? Bakit magkaiba sila ng unit? Yung pala, 400 square meter is the total area of the second storage area. So, itong 400, i-divide mo lang ng 20. So, perfect square naman siya. Ang sagot is 20. So, 20 by 20, box type si storage 2. So, kung 20 to, katabi niya lang, box yan. Ito siya. 20 by 20. Okay? This is your storage too. Okay. Then, both the storage areas have a clear height of 8 meters. Actually, ito, kwento-kwento, kwento-kwento. Okay na yan. So, ito. A two-story structure lies next to the first two storage facilities. Its ground floor consists of the third storage, the business center with dimensions of 12 by 14, and that additional 2 by 14 meters pantry that is connected to the business center. The second floor is 32 meters wide by 14 meters deep. At the back of, the, of this two-story structure is a view deck at grade level. Ayun, malapit na tayo matapos. Last paragraph. Sinabi niya na lahat. So, ito pa lang nagagawa natin. Pwede, pwede na ba nating i-plot? Pwede Intindi lang nating mabuti kung ano yung gusto niyang sabihin. Storage 1, storage 2, tapos meron siyang katabi. Uh, wag, wag nyo na ito masyadong pansinin kasi idudugtong ko dito yung drawing. So, ito medyo matatakpan pero for ano lang to For reference natin. Pero hindi, hindi siya kasali dito sa structure natin. Sorry ah. Yan. So, dito daw, katabi is yung two-story structure. Its ground floor consists of the third storage. The business center with dimensions of 12 by 14. Okay, dun daw sa ground, nandito yung third storage. Pero take note, sabi, at the end of this hallway patio lies the lobby. So, yung lobby mo may size na 6 by 10. So, ito, 24, di ba? Kung 24 to, kung 6 by 10, paano yung orientation ng labi mo? Horizontal o vertical? 
So, ito yung labi mo. Pag ganun. Ito yung 6. Ito yung 10. O pag ganun. Ito yung 6. Ito yung 10. Tingnan mong maigi to. 24 yung sukat nito. Ang sabi, yung business center daw may dimensions na 12 by 14. And 2 by 14. So, yung longer dimension niya is 14. So, kapag 14 daw, kung 24 to, kapag ginamit mo tong 6 na to at nilagay mo dito, so 4, dito ka naglagay ng 10 pang ganun, yung 6 mo, so 4, meron ka ditong 2, may iwan ka, then 24 minus 6 is 18. So, yung 18 mo, kung titingnan mo dito, napaka weird way to ma-insert mo pa si 18 dyan. Kasi, this is just like a puzzle. Puzzle pieces that fits together. Okay. Let's use this one. Kapag 10 yung vertical component nya, you can see na 24 minus 10 equals 14 which is sasakto siya dito sa dimensions na to. Doon ka sasakto. Okay, so paano yan? So ito, dito na natin ilagay si 6 by 10. So nandito, ayan. Ito, 6. Ito, 10. 6 by 10. So, eto na, nag-terminate na si lobby natin. Ay, nag-terminate na si hallway patio papunta sa lobby natin. So, ito, 14 to. Tama? 14. Tapos, so, 14 by 6. Tama ba? Storage 3. 14 by... Okay. So, sabi dito... Yung third storage mo daw, included siya sa two-story structure. So, the second floor is 32 meter wide by 14 meter deep. At the back of this two-story structure is a view deck at grade level. So, makikita natin dito, pwede muna natin i-plot yung 32 by 14. So, if this is 14, 14 na lang itong natira, di ba? So, 10 by 6 ito, ang nasa baba, 14. So, if this is 14, and this is 32, so, this is your second floor. This is your second floor, but it also reflects the ground floor. Bakit? Kasi, kung ito yung size ng second floor mo, yung mga poste niyan, dito diretso sa baba. Tama? If this is 14, and this is 32, nandito daw, sa ilalim nito, yung storage tree, yung business center, and yung pantry. Okay? So, pero wala pa tayong size ng S3. Pero, yung uh, business center, meron na tayong size. Ang size niya is 12 by 14. Diba? So, 12 by 14. Then, si pantry is 2 by 14. Pwede ba itong magkadikit? Pwede. So, paano pagkakadikit niyan? Anong ididikit mo? Yung 12 sa 14 o yung 14 sa 14? Pagdikitin mo yung dalawang dimension na magkapareho. So, 14 and 14. So, ito siya. Si 14. 14 na to eh. So, possible na nandito. So, yung view deck mo daw, nandito sa likod. Nandito, somewhere here. View deck. Kasi, you should place your view deck here. Why? Kasi nandito yung good view. ba diba? So, sa northeast. So, sa northeast mo din siya ilolocate. Tama? So, anong mauuna? Si business center. Dito. Nandito ba si business center or nandito? Kasi pwede mo naman sila pagdikitin. So, ang maging orientation niyan, ganito. So, 12 plus 2 is 14. So, magiging box yan. So, ganyan. 
Ito si pantry. Ito si business center. O... Ito si pantry. Ito si business center. Anong mas pipiliin mong orientation? So, pwede natin gawin. Mamaya na natin i-determine yan. Pero, try na muna natin siyang i-plot dito. So, dito... Let's say na ganito. Nandito si pantry. Nandito si business center. Business center is 12. Si pantry is 2. Tama? Yung itong dimension na ito yung tinutukoy ko ha. Na binabawas mo yan sa 32. So 32 minus 2, 30. Minus 12, 18. So this is 18. This is your storage tree, which is located saan? Dito. So, pwedeng ito na mangyari. So, this is your business center. Bakit dito pinili kong location? Business center, syempre, kung business center siya, may mga windows dyan. Tama? May mga windows dyan. Compared sa pantry, which is used, Storage ng food Sa mga pagkain Ayun nga Si business center may window yan Possible nandito Bakit? Nandito yung window niya To maximize the good view on this point So north is nandun yung view So kung may window ka dito Makita mo yung good view Correct? So this is your pantry In between the storage tree NBC. So, this is your storage tree. Okay. So, this is how you plot the limitless slot. And, let's try to determine where's the view deck here. So, this is your view deck. Let's make it a huge rectangle. So, this is your view deck. If you can see, sorry, medyo nagkakagulo sa part na to. Pero, I'll try to make it clear. So, this is your view deck. This is your view deck. Okay. So, this is your entrance. Southwest entry. Going 60 meters. Then, you turn right at a 20 meter width. Then, there's a 4 meter hallway patio which connect to the 6x10 lobby. Lobby, hindi naman sinabi na i-plot yung stairs. So, somewhere here, just to connect this one. The common stairs of the second floor. Then, storage 1, 20 by 40. Storage 2, 20 by 20. The lobby, 6 by 10. The storage 3 is 18. Sorry, 18 by 14 Tama. then pantry is 2 by 14 then the business center is 12 by 14 then your view deck yun na lang yung natitira mo so if this is 10 this is also 10 and this is 18 plus 2 20 plus 12 32 so if this is 10 22 minus 6 This is Then the size of the view deck is 6 by 10 I mean sorry This is 32 minus 6 26 by 10 So this is 26 Okay So this is your entire building This is your entire structure Then, it has no end point in this side. Let's try to determine and for the questions. Let's answer the questions. So, what is the footprint of the two-story structure? So, this is... Ah, two-story structure. We're just talking about the two-story structure. This is just your two-story structure. This is 14. This is 32. So, 32 by 14 is 448. Okay. And what is the footprint of the whole building? The footprint of the whole building Okay, so we're asked to determine 
what is the footprint of the whole building the whole building doesn't include non-gfa areas or the hallway patio and the view deck it doesn't determine the the gfa or the footprint okay kasi di naman siya possible itong hallway patio na to unpaved then this is unpaved din siya view deck lang naman siya so ang finished itong s1 s2 yung lobby yung storage tree yung pantry and yung business center so computing the footprint of the whole building so this one 24 by 40 plus 20 plus 18 plus 2 plus 12 equals 92 okay so 92 by 24 we get 2208 let's subtract this area the lobby ay the hallway patio and the view deck so computing to 240 and 260 amounting to 500 so 2208 minus 500 equals 1708 okay next question what is the size of the smallest storage area so upon looking at this you can see that this is the smallest storage area it has a size of 18 by 14 or 252 next question what is the size of the view deck so this is easy so buti nilalagay na agad natin yung sukat nya so 26 by 10 the answer is 260 meters yan okay. what is the length of the open area if a 6 meter setback is added to the east Okay, so added to the east daw. May nilagay ka daw dito na 6 meter setback. So, if this is your edge, nilagay ka daw dito ng 6. So, compute natin yung width ng total area natin. So, this is easy. So, 6 plus 3, 9. Plus 40, 49. 69 plus 32, equals 101 then you add yung nire require na setback 6 so 107 107 meters yun ok next if originally yan it's level from north to south what is the earth volume to be cut for driveway to achieve the hard slope so ayan kapag ganyan ang tanong hindi ko na ito isasolve but I will teach how to get the slope so you know the slope the formula is slope is equal to rise over run or also known as myx or mix okay sa m ilalagay mo minsan pwede mong gamitin si 12 or si 10 Depende sa tanong. Ayan. Ito yung mga tanong, ito yung mga sagot. Try nyo na lang po i-compute. So, at least na-plot na natin siya. Ito po yung sagot dyan, 1,296. Then, ito, hindi po ako sure kung tama, paki-verify na lang po. So, 6,084 meter cube, 841 meter cube. At sa zoning classification, ito po sabi ko kanina, given na SPE. Ito. Meron din dito, mga uh, stock knowledge. For aging river exists downhill at what distance should it be? So, the, the measurement, the easement, I'm sorry, satisfies the building code. So, alam natin, kapag mga rivers, or mga bodies of water, 40 meters po ang easement. Viewing deck excluded, blah blah blah, kwento kwento, solve nyo na lang. Ito, 5708, blah blah blah. Next, ayan. For the road sloping down at 12%, what paving material should be used to provide good tire traction in times of heavy rain? So, alam natin, pwede natin sabihin, pag road, asphalt gagamitin natin, pero, 
indicate na heavy rain. So, alam natin, pag yung asphalt na basa, madulas. Pero yung cast or poured concrete, maganda yung traction niya. Okay? So, ang sagot is yung cast or poured concrete. Next, which of the following should be used to help keep the retaining wall stable? Sagot dyan is Gibbon system because geosynthetic membranes is for soil erosion only. Hindi siya masyadong tulong sa structural. More on ano siya, uh, irrigation and soil erosion. Gibbon system, part siya ng pagpapatibay ng mga pundasyon. Okay, thank you.